Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing an IWC homage to Mercedes-Benz Racing, launched in 2015 in 1,000 pieces. This is the IWC Ingenieur Chronograph Silver File, dedicated to the Silver Arrows, or the unpainted pre-war Mercedes-Benz Grand Prix course, of which one, the W25, is actually depicted on the watch itself. So the watch is 45 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It's a big ingenieur. It has a 14.3 millimeter thickness, and you can see from end to end, it's quite broad, being 56.5 millimeters. The watch is substantial and hefty. You can really feel it on the wrist. If you believe that a luxury watch shouldn't be excessively light, this is for you. Also, if you've got a wrist larger than mine, this is for you. I think it's a bit too large for me. I think you need a 17 centimeter circumference wrist or larger to wear this silver file chronograph best. Again, take a look at the side. It's going to fit underneath most jackets, but not most tight dress sleeves. It is a big watch. It features a strap that's designed to work with the Gerald Genta inspired ingenieur shape. So every ingenieur that has this tunnel like profile was inspired by the late 1970s ingenieur 1832, the jumbo ingenieur of 1976, designed by Gerald Genta during his purple streak of the 1970s. So while this watch is on a strap, the look is very much of his original integrated case look bracelet design, so one flows seamlessly into the others. You can also see that it's a very substantial piece of leather. It's held on by a quick release system, so you can relatively easily and cleanly remove the strap. You can see that there is plenty of rubber, as it's primarily a rubber strap with a large rectangular scale matte brown alligator leather inlay and then there's a gusset in the center so that the pin buckle can't gouge the leather there's actually rubber there the pin buckle as you can see is pin and buckle with a combination of polish and satination there's also a combination of finishes on the case and you can see no fewer than three distinct the sides of the case are media blasted. We have a couple of polished accents on the chronograph pushers, the crown guards, the crown, the bezel. There's a little bit of a beveling around the end of the lugs. You can also see that the lug hoods as well as the lug ends have been satinated. So we have satin, media blasting, and polish all in one place. Now the bezel bears a tachymeter, so that can be used in conjunction with the chronograph to gauge the speed of a car over a kilometer, as this is an automotive-themed chronograph. We've got a lot going on on the dial. There's a chapter ring featuring sectors that allow you to read chronograph seconds as well as minutes. We've got a twin register chronograph design made possible because there's a mono counter up at 12 o'clock that features a 60-minute chronograph register, so one circuit per hour with coaxial chronograph hours and then chronograph seconds are the red varnished hand. We have applique rhodium-plated steel hour indices. We have steel bezels for the constant seconds chronograph display and the date display, and then we have those lovely polished hands. Now we'll do a quick loom shot. This watch has plenty of loom, no shortage, easy to read in the dark. You can see even the sub-seconds and the chronograph register are luminescent. Now we also have a flyback chronograph here, so you can reset and restart without first stopping it. Great if you're timing events or occurrences in rapid succession. Now taking a look, there's this lovely brown perlage treatment on the dial base, and that is an homage to the dashboard treatment of the Mercedes-Benz W25 Grand Prix cars that were active between 1934 and 1937. They helped to establish the legend of the Silver Arrows. Of course, silver, not the traditional German racing color. It's become conventional today, but originally it was white and occasionally even red, but Mercedes-Benz team took the white paint off their cars and realized they could lighten them for racing, leaving an apparent silver color scheme. The idea was mass reduction, but the effect was timeless and the silver arrows were born. To this day, some German cars still do race with white, most notably BMW. But on the dial side to this watch, we have a few more tricks to share, one of which is a hacking or stop seconds function. So you could stop the watch, synchronize it to a reference time, and then, of course, there is a quick set system for the date. And they really did pay attention here, as you could see that the font used for the two on the bezel, the chapter ring, the sub-registers, and the date 
That same two is used everywhere. It's always good when all of the fonts and typefaces match. Screw down crown, 120 meter water resistance. Inside we have IWC, manufacturer, caliber 89361. It's an automatic winder. It's a four pole IWC Peloton pole based winding system. The most efficient of the Albert Peloton inspired bi-directional pole based winding system. 68 hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set, column wheel chronograph with vertical clutch so you get a really crisp feeling and sounding chronograph action with super smooth engagement because of the vertical clutch there's no additional wear and tear or play in the system so when it starts up it's a seamless advance without any jump or stagger also worth mentioning this is a sophisticated movement it has a four hertz beat rate pivots on 38 joules and it is iwc's very own adjusted and a chronometer like five positions so lots to love with this watch reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details